Is there anything that can separate you from the love of God? You probably already know I'm speaking from Romans 8, and I want to ask you that question. Romans 8 verse 35 asks, who, in German it says what, so I'm going to say what or who can separate us from the love of Christ. And so it goes on with a list. Can trouble, hardship, persecution, hunger, poverty, danger, the sword. Can these things separate us from the love of Christ? It goes on to say, no, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Christ loves you and there is nothing that can happen in your life that can separate you from his love. And it goes on to say in verses 38 and 39, there is nothing that will be able to separate us from the love of God for those who are in Christ Jesus. I was thinking back to um, a time when at the beginning of our marriage, uh, my husband's brother, younger brother, was dying of cancer. And we would stand around his bed, we would sing, we would talk, we would pray with him, for him. It was always such an encouragement for him. And then one day he, he asked again for us to come around his bed and to pray. Well, his, I think it was his dad ended up reading these verses out of Romans to him and listing all these things, the question, can this, can that separate us from God's love? And at the end of all of that, Paul threw in there, neither can cancer. He was in a place of great suffering. He was a young man, 20 years old. He had a life to live. And it was so hard for him to understand why he would be dying. But you know what? He held on to this amazing truth that even this, what I am going through, will not separate me from the love of Christ. What is it that you are going through that is so hard and it brings doubt into your mind about God's love for you? One day when I was walking across the yard, I saw this on the ground. It's uh, in the area where the kids all park their cars on the gravel. And uh, so whatever this is, I don't know if it's a nut that fell from a tree or if it's a piece of a branch or a root, whatever it is, I could tell that there's been a lot of traffic over top. It has crushed this thing, whatever it is crushed it over and over, but it so clearly showed me that no matter what we face, what we go through, the hardships, the trials, even when we make some wrong decisions and fall into sin, we cannot be separated from God's love. His love continues on and on and on for us, and there is nothing that can separate us from his love. Isn't that an amazing truth? Do you believe that? In whatever you are going through, maybe your heart is crushed, <laughs> like this one. Maybe your heart is crushed, maybe it's in pain. Maybe you've made a decision that you regret so badly, but remember, if you are in Christ Jesus, there is nothing that can separate you from his love. So if you are struggling in this area, then I would say consider why you're struggling and ask the Lord Jesus to reveal to you why you are struggling in this way. The only way that we can fall into this and believing that something can separate us from the love of Christ is if we have received a lie from the devil that he has offered us and he usually comes and offers us lies when we go through something hard it's 
we're in a place then usually where it's easier for us to latch on to something that is offered us, even if it's a lie from the devil. And so if he gets to stick that lie into your head and you latch on to it, then you will begin believing that whatever you're going through could possibly separate you from the love of Christ. But the truth from his word is that there is nothing that can separate you from his love. I hope you're encouraged by this word and you can take it in your situation, believing that what I'm going through right now will not separate me from the love of Christ. May your heart be encouraged in this way and may the Lord bless you.